Life during a pandemic gives us perspective on how important it is to stay healthy. For some people, though, good health may be out of their control. News Center Maine's Chloe Tebow tells us about a woman from Litchfield who's dealing with kidney failure and her desperate search for an organ donor. Marianne Engelbert was at a dentist appointment in 2018 when doctors noticed her blood pressure was alarmingly high. She found out her kidneys are failing because of a rare autoimmune disease called Berger's disease. Now she's battling stage five kidney failure and is looking for a living donor. It definitely puts things in perspective. For more than two years, 37-year-old Marianne Engelbert of Litchfield has been taking on a tough diagnosis with a positive attitude. What started as stage three kidney failure in 2018 quickly progressed to stage four and now stage five. Engelbert says not knowing how much time she has left is scary. It's like this constant feeling like you're a ticking time bomb. This battle doesn't just affect her. Engelbert is a wife and a mother to three young boys. What is that like going through it as a mom? Um, it's definitely, I don't want to cry. Um, <laughs> it's, um, I'm going to cry. I don't want to see them graduate and I want to see my grandkids and you know, I don't want to miss out on those things. Engelbert says doctors have told her she's not a good match for dialysis because Berger's disease has caused too much scar tissue. Getting a kidney on the donor list can take between five and nine years, so Engelbert's hoping to find a living donor instead. Her mother tried to donate, but found out she couldn't because of underlying medical issues. I would do anything for my children, you know? I was very disappointed that I couldn't. Engelbert has found comfort during the pandemic through her best friend, who was battling liver failure. That strange connection has kept them close in a time of isolation. She has a heart of gold. She would give you the shirt off her back, no matter whether she knew you or not. For now, Engelbert is trying to stay optimistic, even when the future is unclear. I think when you're positive as a person, like positive things happen to you. Engelbert's blood type is A positive. Anyone interested in helping her can visit mghlivingdonors.org to find out if they're a match. There's more information about how that process works on our website and mobile app. At home, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.